The ladybug looks quite small. Ladybug sizes range from 4 to 9 mm in length. The ladybug is recognizable because it is most often colored red and studded with black dots. The ladybug has a convex, almost circular body. The ladybug looks interesting because there are so many small details in its body structure. Ladybug insect has head, pronotum, thorax, abdomen, wings with elytra and legs. Ladybug has a small and short head, which is fixed to the pronotum. The insect has eyes and movable antennae on its head. The ladybug flies with a pair of hind wings. The ladybug's front wings are rigid eleased wings that protect the main wings while it is on the ground. The ladybug flies very well and flaps up to 85 wings per second. Everyone knows that the ladybug looks so bright to scare off predators. In addition to its variegated coloration, the ladybug also secretes a yellow liquid with a pungent specific smell. This liquid is poisonous and serves as a defense against frogs, spiders, and other potential enemies. The ladybug beetle secretes its poisonous liquid from the joints of its legs in case of danger. Also in case of danger, the insect can even pretend to be dead. Of course, the red ladybug is not the only color option for this insect. There are yellow ladybugs, black ladybugs, and even white ladybugs. How the ladybug looks and what color it will be depends on the type of ladybug. The young ones have the most intense coloring, while the older ones will fade with time. Ladybug species are very diverse. They all have a different shape, size, color, and number of dots. There are even ladybugs without dots. There are more than 4,000 species of ladybugs, which are grouped into 360 genera and distributed in almost all parts of the world. The most famous and widespread species of ladybugs, which we are most familiar with, is the seven-pointed ladybug. It has a color familiar to us in red, and is so named because it has exactly seven black dots. Below in the photo you can see different kinds of ladybugs. Ladybug lives almost everywhere except the Arctic and Antarctica. Ladybugs live on trees, bushes and grass in different parts of the world. Most often the ladybug lives in the steppe zone, woodlands, mountains, and gardens. In Russia the ladybug lives practically on the whole territory, except for the extreme northern regions. Also ladybug lives in Europe, Asia, Japan, China, India, Mongolia, Africa, Korea, and America. The ladybug lives by being active from early spring to late fall. In winter, ladybugs hide under fallen leaves, tree bark or rocks, where they remain until spring. But not all ladybugs are sedentary and stay over winter where they spent the summer. It is not uncommon for ladybugs to migrate before the onset of cold weather. During the wintering and migratory periods, ladybugs, which usually live a solitary lifestyle, gather together. Mass aggregations of this beetle are also typical during the mating season. In spring, the ladybug wakes up very early, with temperatures as low as plus 10 degrees Celsius. That is why ladybugs can be seen among the first after winter. Ladybugs live from 10 to 12 months and only rarely up to 2 years. The life expectancy of a ladybug depends on the availability of food. It will probably be a big revelation to all of us that most ladybugs are predators. This is because ladybugs eat aphids. A ladybug eats about a hundred aphids a day. Ladybugs also eat leaf miners, scales, mites and worms. The larva of the ladybug is also a predator. Both ladybugs and their larvae are very voracious. The ladybug insect destroys various dangerous pests in huge quantities, thus bringing enormous benefits to agriculture. The ladybird was even specially imported to America to control spider mites and aphids. Of course, there are also plant-eating ladybug species. These ladybugs feed on plants and harm agriculture. Plant-eating ladybugs are most common in the tropics of all continents and the subtropics of Southeast Asia. There are three species of ladybugs in Russia that feed on plants. Potatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers and other vegetable crops are harmed by the 28-point ladybird, the alfalfa ladybug damages sugar beets and alfalfa, and the ladybird ladybug harms clover and sweet clover. All other ladybug species that live in Russia are predators. 
The mating season for ladybugs occurs in mid-spring, when the insects have already gained strength after hibernation or flight. During the breeding season, the female excretes a special secret that the male uses to find her. The female then lays her eggs on plants. The ladybug chooses a place close to aphid colonies, so that the offspring are provided with food. Ladybug eggs look like pointed, oval-shaped grains and can be colored yellow, orange, or white. The female lays them on the underside of leaves or stems. A single ladybug can lay up to 400 eggs, placing them in small clusters. If the female feeds well, she is capable of laying up to 1,000 eggs. After about a couple of weeks, mottled, oval-shaped ladybug larvae with a bluish-gray hue emerge from the laid eggs. The ladybug larva has fine bristles on its body and a peculiar pattern formed by a combination of orange, yellow and white spots. Once hatched, the ladybug larva eats its eggshell and dead eggs. When the larva has gained strength, it begins to destroy aphid colonies. The voracious ladybug larva eats up to 300 aphids per day. The larval stage of the ladybug will last about four to seven weeks. During this time, the ladybug larva is very mobile because it is in constant search of food. Then the ladybug larva turns into a pupa and attaches itself to the plant. As it develops, it begins to acquire all the characteristics of a full-fledged insect. In about 10 days, a fully formed adult emerges from the cocoon. It is still a mystery why ladybug is called so. Perhaps it is so called because the insect ladybug is capable of secreting milk a poisonous yellow liquid, which scares away enemies. It may have been nicknamed ladybird because of its harmless character and its help in saving crops by destroying aphids. Ladybug insect around the world enjoys great sympathy and respect. In different countries the ladybug has different names. In Germany, Austria and Switzerland, the ladybug is called the St. Mary's beetle. In England, the United States and Australia, it is called the ladybug. In the countries of Latin America, St. Anthony's ladybug. In the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Belarus and Ukraine it is called sunshine. In some countries, monuments have even been erected in honor of the ladybug. This insect is surrounded by many beliefs and omens that only bode well. There are many legends involving the ladybug. The ladybug is considered a symbol of good luck, in ancient times, people worshipped this insect and worshipped it. The image of this beetle on clothing or various jewelry was considered a talisman. In some cultures, it is forbidden to harm this insect, so as not to attract trouble. In ancient Slavs, the ladybug was considered a messenger of the sun goddess. It is believed that you cannot chase away ladybug, which sat on you, so as not to scare away fortune. If she flew into the house, it brings peace and harmony. Even the weather was predicted with her help. This is the worldwide love of this amazing and tiny insect with a simple name Ladybug.